Hey everybody, this is Albert, Taxman Corey, with another edition of the Taxman Show, where every day we come on and we ask the questions to make sure you get the best refund and to build your business. Well, today, today we're going to talk about, it's real simple, hey Melissa, how you doing? I haven't talked to you for a while, dear. How's everything? How's married life? How's Idaho treating you? Today we're going to talk about um, how what you can deduct. By the way, if you have any questions or comment, you could put it below. Um, sharing is caring as always. You know, so today I'm back on the saddle. So today we're going to talk we're going to talk about how you can deduct your house. Okay, as a tax deduction. That's right. You can deduct your house. You can deduct your rent. You can deduct your HOA. Um, you can deduct almost anything. But before I go on, if anybody has any questions or comments, you can always post it below. If anybody wants to come on and jump on, you know, dude, I love having people talk to me. Um, I love people coming on and saying hi, what's up, and hanging out with me. Because that's the fun of the lives. Of sharing is caring and always please share all right well today we're gonna to talk about how to deduct your house okay I got funny memes well, let me see if I get my next funny meme up um, if I can find it it's okay here it is oh, here, here's a cool funny meme okay so this is how you can deduct your house um the government says um, you can deduct your house, you can rent a percentage of your house, your rent as a home office. Okay, but there's going to be certain rules you can do. First rule is under the new tax laws is unless you got a corporation, okay, or an LLC, or have a small business, if you're an MLM deal, um, if you get 1099s, corporation, LLCs, then you can now deduct everything. Under the new tax laws is if you're just a straight W-2 form employee, you can't deduct anything. My thing to you is start a little small business so now you can deduct everything. Hey Scott, so how you doing? Okay, so now, here's kind of what stuff you can deduct. Okay, if you are renting an apartment Let's start off with rent. Okay, if you're renting an apartment, you can deduct, um, probably when I always do the math, um, you could probably deduct about 25% of the apartment. Um, if you live in a condo, 25% of, you know, the HOAs, you know, all that can be deductible. The rule says is that you have to have a portion, um, what percentage of your house or apartment you're using as your office. Um, I always say 20%. Um, the exact definition is you take the square footage of the room and it can't be used for personal use. Um, what does that mean you can't be used for personal use? Personal use. Um, it's like if you have a bed in there, um, you know, if you have a bed in there and you're using it all the time, um, if you're playing Xbox in there all the time, it's your kid's bedroom. If you get audited, um, you know, chances are, um, you know, they're not going to let you excited. Bottom line is, is they try to say that that room is only used for business. So now, so now that it's being used for business, okay, so now you can deduct your rent. Okay, you can, like I said, you can deduct your rent. Do I have any other cool pictures? Okay, so now, no, I don't have anything else on the house. So now you can deduct your rent. Um, you can deduct, oh, by the way, you can deduct a percentage of your rent. You can deduct a percentage of your rent, electric, and gas. That's all deductible. Um, a portion of your DSL or cable bill. That's kind of a little bit, not necessarily tricky, but you can deduct um, most of it because if you're somebody like me, Okay, um, you know, you use it more for business. Let me explain how you use your cable bill. I mean, you know, your cable bill for how, how if you get audited. I, I, watch a lot of, I watch a lot of CNBC shows. 
I watch all the competitive Food Network shows. Um, I love Food Network stars. Um, and I love all the shows that kind of going to show business. Okay. So if, you, if you're watching a TV show and it's going to show you something about business and you can learn something about business, then, um, then that can be deducted. So a percentage. Internet. I'd say 90% of the internet at my house is deductible um, because just like in my office, um, most of the time, whatever YouTube videos I'm watching, I'm watching to move the business forward. Websites I'm on, I'm moving the business forward. Um, websites I'm on. I mean, a lot of the programs we do online. Okay. A lot of the programs we do online um, are all, you know, are all online, so that becomes deductible. So that becomes deductible. Um, if you have somebody cleaning your house, that becomes deductible, the percentage. Um, having somebody, if you're paying your gas bill, that's deductible. Um, repairs on your house, that becomes deductible. Electric, water, garbage. Um, I like this. I like this quote. The hardest thing to understand in the world is the income tax by Albert Einstein. So, you know, so a lot of things are deductible. By the way, my name is Albert Corey from Coin Associates Accounting and Small Business, where every day we come on and we ask the questions um, to make sure you get the best possible tax return. So if you have any questions and you don't have my number, you can always um, on instant messenger hit the little phone key or leave a message an instant messenger I'll get back to you um, if you don't everybody doesn't realize I have a real office in Miami the Miami area Miami Florida um, so I'm a real deal I've been doing this for 30 years and there ain't a whole lot of questions um, I don't have so does anybody have any questions or comments um, you know cutting snow by the way anything to do with your yard if you have a yard and you have somebody cut your grass, well, whatever business percentage of your house, that becomes deductible. Almost all expenses on your house, on your condo, become deductible. You're, like I said, your rent, electric, water, garbage, repairs, you know, all that is deductible. So anybody questions, anybody wants to come on and answer a question, um, now I'm going to show you some of my funny memes. Oh, here, here's one. I mean, some of these memes that I put. Um, let me show you some of my memes. Here. Hardest thing in the world is to understand is income tax. Well, guess what, guys? Um, you know, you don't have to understand it. We're here for you. Oh, here. This is the one I was looking for. This is the funny one I was looking for. Um, I use QuickBooks, Melissa. Um, QuickBooks is easiest one to use. Um, but if you don't want to be super techie, you can, if you don't want to spend money on QuickBooks, um, you could use something as simple as get an income statement on Excel. Um, and that will work for you. All right, I was looking for this. Look at these few memes. I was looking for these the other days to put on Facebook. I made them. What am I afraid of? You see this with the Stormtrooper? Um, the IRS. Do I need a uh, Melissa? Do I need a bookkeeper? Okay, Melissa, if you need bookkeeping, guys, we can do your bookkeeping for you. Um, here's what I always say about bookkeeping. Um, I follow Grant's thinking um, as far as as far as everything I do. Um, I get audible. Um, when I say, well, when you don't need receipts, what I tell people, Mr. Larry, the beard man is watching. What's up, guy? You can come on. Anybody who wants to come on is always welcome. Audited. Um, what I've been telling people as far as receipts goes, uh, Miss Melissa, is, um, by the way, Melissa, do you want to come on and ask your questions live? You're always welcome. We do bookkeeping, by the way. Um, what I've been saying people to do is 
when you get your bank statements, I mean, you probably could keep your bank, you know, all your receipts. But I've been telling people that if you got everything on, you know, what I would tell people to avoid an audit, use the same, open up a company and use that same debit or credit card to pay everything. Okay, that's what I would do. Oh, okay, no problem. I would tell you to use the same credit card, you know, or debit card and pay everything. And then now that's, that's gonna be your record. Um, so you would pay everything with the card. You know, I would tell you to pay everything with the same credit card or debit card, whatever makes you happy. Um, in my personal life, I have my cell phone. Cell phones are connected. Okay, my accountant told me my statements would not stand up. Well, um, you know, but they keep the receipts. I mean, by the way, my clients have never got audited, Melissa. So, you know, um, you must be doing some super aggressive stuff. See, my clients haven't gotten, have never gotten audited. I mean, if you think about it, um, like your cell phone bill is your cell phone bill. Your electric bill is your electric bill. By the way, I pay all those out of my, my um, business accounts for my house and the office. Um, then you keep your receipts. Um, there's all kinds of apps to keep your receipts. The only thing that's really going to get you in trouble on your receipts, Melissa, is like going out to dinner. Going out to dinner is a tricky subject because I had clients, trust me, and I kind of told them, oh, not told them, here's one of this. Um, oh, that's the one I was looking for the other day. Um, I had clients who, um, who would, you know, they don't cook, guys. They don't cook. They would like have like sixty, seventy thousand dollars on, you know, that, this one girl. She made a hundred and thirty in her business. She had thirty thousand in food. I said, no, dude, you can't have that much money in food. Um, but there's a way to be, you know, kind of aggressive in what you're doing. You know, I mean, there's a way to be that you can do it so you don't get caught. I mean, none of my clients have got audited and heaven knows I've been doing this forever. Um, so, I mean, that's not true. I mean, if you had bank statements of everything you spent and it got highlighted or what else I would tell you with bank statements, every time when the statement comes in, make notes of what you do. I mean, obviously if you go to office Depot, office max, that's a deduction. Um, you're paying Grant Cardone, you know what it is. Um, if you're using and having too much, too many dinners, that's where you can get into trouble. Melissa, do you get paid 1099? I'm going to have a question too for you. Um, question, do you get paid um, 1099 or do you get paid the W-2 form? Because here's what happens. Um, when I saw people getting audited who come into me all the time, Okay. All right. But 1099 to the company, Melissa, or 1099 to you? That's the next question. Because here's what happens, guys. Let me tell you what happened to I saw one of my clients, a new client I got off of Google. Um, um, Joey, Bonifato. How you doing, Joey? Okay. So here's what happened, Melissa. Um, you know, if you got a 1099 and it's going to your personal return, the IRS, the IRS audit computers can pick up how much um, on meals and entertainment because on personal returns, they can program the computer. Now, Melissa, I have a question. In Idaho, can they pay, Idaho, can, you're a realtor, correct? I know you work for a commercial um, firm. Um, you know, you do shopping centers and stuff like that. Can they pay you to a corporation the people you work for? See, that's where, Melissa, you're kind of making the, the, the mistake. If you heard me in some of my other videos, I would tell you that your LLC, you either need to flip it to a sub-S corporation, file a 2553, or, or get another partner. Because here's what's happening. Your, your guy is correct in a sense that 
Um, when everything goes on a Schedule C, guys, which is on your tax returns, okay, that goes on to your personal return. The IRS can audit, can program to pick off how much is, you know, um, how many car miles. They can program it. Um, how many, how much food you can eat. So they can program to come after every line. But if everything goes fully on your LLC or fully on your sub S company, they can't check it. Okay. There's no way in the world they can check it unless you do a physical audit. And the way the IRS is, the way the IRS is going, um, that ain't going to happen anytime. It could, but statistically it can happen. So how's that, Melissa? Did I answer that question? So what you need to do is, is going forward, either file a 2553 to be a sub S company. By the way, we do all that. Or you have another partner. Now, here's the trick, Melissa, if you, want, if you don't want to do a 2553. The trick would be is have your husband um, be a 1% shareholder on your tax return. Then... Then, if you don't want to file a 25, if you don't want to do it, if you want to stay in LLC, I don't know why people want to stay in LLC. Say that again. Oh, okay. That that you need to get off the sole member LLC. If you've been following a lot of my videos, by the way, um, what I will tell people: please follow me on tax ten on on my Facebook page. Um, um, 1040 W2, Facebook.com, 1040 WQ2. Um, by the way, I've been doing that. Guys, what I'm telling you is I've been telling my clients that for 10 years. To get off an LLC, become a sub S company by filing a 2553 um, for a couple of reasons. One reason is um, on an LLC, you need two partners. So if you don't want to have two partners, then you file a 2553. You mail that in to the service center, Ogden Center, or, or sorry, Cincinnati Service Center. And, you know, who are you going to call? You know, uh, I, I like doing, I like making memes. That's my, uh, okay. Um, I'm sorry. Uh, I love making memes, guys. You know, we take care of all the forms. Yeah, so that's what I've been doing for a long time, guys. By the way, Melissa, if you have any questions, just um, instant message me. You know, guys, if anybody's been around, you know, we've I've been doing this for 30 years, and I've been in, in the 10X and, and the Grand Common community for the year. And, and Melissa, anybody knows who knows me, I love talking to people. I don't charge you to go and give you my advice and give you my opinion. Yeah, I mean, um, you know, um, I love talking to people. Mr. Romeo, how are you doing, sir? If anybody has any questions, any other questions or comments, um, how's that, Melissa? Did I help you? Um, by the way, anybody, uh, Melissa, if I helped you, could you please give me some hearts? Um, I love my memes, by the way. Um, by the way, Melissa, could you do me a little favor? If you're watching this, can you give me some hearts and give me some love? If I gave you some awesome, um, if I gave you some awesome information, I only ask for one thing, that you give me some hearts, you give me some love. And, you know, the price for me to come in on here is sharing is caring. See, here's here's another one of my cool things is they paid you to, like, to do the toilet. Well, guys, anybody else have any questions or comments? Um, I kind of have an office to run, but I love talking to everybody. So if anybody has any questions or comments, um, I'm here for you. Um, if anybody goes and, and um, watches this later and likes my, my 1040 um, Coin Associates page, which is facebook.com slash 1040W2, um, on the page there you can download this. My, my sheet that we give away. Well, I love memes, guys.
See, this is a book that I just got off, off the phone writing. Um, I just want to do one more thing. And you need to get off trying to find my contact paper. Uh, where is it? It's here. Here it is. But if you have any questions or comments, uh, my name is Albert Corey from Coin Associates Accounting and Small Business, where every day we come on and we ask the questions, um, you know, we ask the questions um, to, you know, to get you the best tax return, help build your business. If you're watching this on the replay, um, sharing is caring. And by the way, if anybody has any questions or any topic you would like me to talk about in future broadcasts, um, please put it below or instant message me and I'll talk about almost everything and anything to do with tax stuff. Okay, guys. Um, well, got to go. Um, phone is ringing and I got to get to the real world. Start helping people. Thank you, guys, and have an awesome day. Bye-bye.